What's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here moving on to another quadratic word problem. So we're told that a rectangular pool is 11 meters by 8 meters and then a deck with a uniform width is to be placed around the pool. The area of the uh, the area of the deck will be the same as the pool's area and we have to find the width of the deck. Now this is a popular type of quadratic word problem. We're actually going to go through a couple of other pool problems in the next section. There's going to be different kinds of scenarios, but this is a nice intro to it within this quadratic formula section. So let me draw a diagram of what is happening. So let's say we have a pool. Let's maybe put it a little lower here. So let's say we have a pool and it's 11 meters by eight meters like this. Now what's happening is we're gonna put a deck that's gonna have a uniform width, meaning the width of the deck is gonna be the same everywhere. So if we draw that, basically what's gonna happen is we're going to have a deck around the pool and it's gonna have a uniform width, meaning the width over here is gonna be the same as the width over here, which is gonna be the same as the width over here, which is gonna be the same as the width right there. And so what we can do is introduce a variable here. Now, because we're solving for the width of the deck, I'm gonna let x equal the width of the deck, right? So this is going to be x, this is going to be x, this is going to be x, that's going to be x right there. That's what we are solving for. Okay, so we have our diagram here. Now, we're told that the area of the deck, so the area, like if we were to draw all of this in all the way around, not including the pool, just the deck, the area of all of that, of this strip here, is going to equal the pool's area, okay? So we have to try to create some kind of expression here. So first off, what is the pool area? Well, the pool area is equal to just 88 meters squared, right? 11 times eight. So the pool area, we have a number. How can we get an expression for the dex area? Well, there's different ways to do it. You can, if you want, you can split it into like different rectangles, right? So if we split it like this, notice we'll have this rectangle plus this rectangle plus this rectangle plus that rectangle. So that's one way to do it. I personally don't recommend doing it that way. The way that I'm going to do it is I'm actually just going to take the large area here. So we'll call this, so this is the pool. Then we have the deck around the pool and then we have this large area. We'll call it the total area right here, which is going to be basically the pool area plus the deck area, right? So if you think about it, the total area is equal to the pool area plus the deck area, like that. And the reason why I want to use this total area, because we can get this total area, an expression for this total area by just taking this width and multiplying it by this length. Now, what is this length going to be? Well, notice it's going to be 11 meters, right? This is 11 meters. And then we're adding an X to it. And then we're adding another X to it. So the total length of this is actually going to be 11 plus 2x, 11 plus x plus x. That's going to be the total length right here. Now, what's the total width going to be? Well, the width is going to be this 8 over here, this 8 meters, plus x, right? This is x as well, 
plus x. And this is the same as this. So it's going to be 8 plus, let's actually write it on this side here. So it's going to be 8 plus 2x. So the total length is going to be 11 plus 2x. The total width is going to be 8 plus 2x. And so to get the total area, we would just take this length of 11 plus 2x and then multiply it by the width, the total width of 8 plus 2x. And that's going to give us this total area. And then notice on the right side, we have the pool area, which is 88, right? We got that from multiplying the 11 by the 8. And also notice that we have the deck area because we're told that the area of the deck will be the same as the pool's area. So the pool area and also the deck area, those are the same. And if the pool's area is 88, that means the deck's area is 88. And we could plug that in here as well, right? Or 88 times two, which means the total area over here, 11 plus two X, eight plus two X is gonna equal the pool area plus the deck area, which is gonna be just 88 times two or 88 plus two, which would give us what? 176, like that. Okay, and so notice from here, we end up with an equation right here with one variable to solve for. Okay, and now we can just expand everything, bring it to one side and solve. So that's one equation that we can use. Now, that's personally the way that I go about it. I use this total area here. But again, if you want, you can also split this up into like rectangles, like I just mentioned. Um, so if you do that, like let's say we split this up into rectangles like this. Well, we know that the dex area is gonna equal 88. So what you could do is you could go, okay, 88 is gonna equal this area over here, which is going to be what? 11 by x. So it's going to be 11x plus this area over here, which is going to be 8 plus 2x times x, right? Because this we know is 8 plus 2x and we know that this here is going to be x. So these multiplied is going to be this area. And then over here, we know that this is 11, this is x. So again, we're going to have another 11x. Basically, this rectangle and this rectangle are the same. So you could actually just take 11x multiplied by 2 in order to get those. And then this rectangle and this rectangle are the same. So you could just take this and multiply by 2. I'll just write it out so you could see clearly the four different areas. Okay, and then you'll have this equation here, and you can solve this equation. And the solutions to this and to this, they're actually going to be the, um, the same thing. Okay, but I'm personally just going to use this one. That's why I like using this total area. We don't have to have all of these different expressions that we add up and then getting these different areas here. I feel like this here is much cleaner to use. So we just get that total area and that's equal to the pool area plus the deck area which we have and then we have an expression for the total area. Okay, but whichever way you want to do it, the solutions to either of these equations, right? So same thing, we'd expand all of this, bring it to one side. The solutions when we solve for x, it's going to be the same thing, but personally I'm going to use that equation. So then taking this equation and then expanding everything. Notice 11 times eight would give us 88. 11 times two X would give us 22 X. Two X times eight would give us 16 X. And then two X times two X would give us four X squared. Like that. Okay, and I'm gonna bring everything over to the left side because we got a positive leading coefficient. So I'm gonna put that first. There's no other X squared, so that goes away. 16 X plus 22 X would give us what, 38? x and then bringing the 176 over 88 minus 176 would give us minus 88 and so we end up having a quadratic equation right there okay and then from here we could also take out a 2 to make it um, 
to make the coefficients we're going to use in the quadratic formula. We're going to plug this into the quadratic formula here. So if you want, you could divide everything by 2, or you could just plug in a value of 4, b value of 38, c value of negative 88 into the quadratic formula. Um, and you would get the same solutions. It's just the numbers you're going to deal with are going to be larger. Personally, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to divide everything by 2. Again, this is not a necessary step, but that's what I'm going to do. Remember, what you do to the left side, you also have to do to the right side. So we'd end up with what? 2x squared plus 19x minus 44 is equal to 0. So whether you plug in an a value of 2, b value of 19, c value of negative 44, or an a value of 4, b value of 38, and a c value of negative 88 into the quadratic formula, you're going to get the same solutions. I'm going to plug in these though, just because these are smaller numbers to work with. So the a value is 2, the b value is 19, the c value is negative 44. Okay, so the quadratic formula as a review is that, and that's going to be all over 2a. So taking these parameters, plugging it in there, we'll have negative 19 plus or minus uh, 19 squared minus 4 times the a value of 2 times the c value of negative 44. That's going to be all over 2 times that a value of 2, like that. And then you would just do all of that algebra. And when you plug in all those values under this square root here, you'd end up with positive 713. The square root of that is 26.702. And then you'd get two solutions because of that plus or minus. So you'd get x equaling 1.93 and then x equaling negative 11.43. And notice that we can't have a negative x value, right, according to this word problem, because the x represents the width of the dex. So this here is not a viable solution right there. So x is just 1.93, okay? And so basically, that is the answer. What is the width? of the deck, well, it's going to be 1.93 meters. Okay, so the most important part, really, is to set up the equation correctly. As long as you get this equation, then the rest, we've already done tons of questions where you got to expand, bring everything to one side, and then use the quadratic formula to solve. It's just getting this equation. And again, as I mentioned in the next section, we're going to go through tons of word problems and these kinds of pool area questions are going to come up there. Again, different kinds of scenarios. In this case, the deck area and the pool area were the same, but sometimes you'll get stuff like the pool area is maybe double the deck area or vice versa. Maybe the deck area is double the pool area or there's some kind of other relationship between them and that's going to change how you set up the equation. So we're going to go through different scenarios in that next section, but just wanted to introduce this kind of question in this section. All right, so set up the equation properly, whichever way you want to do it. I showed you that other way you could do it, where you could add these rectangles as well. And whichever way you do it, 1.93 meters should be the answer you get.